What is up you guys and welcome back again to Hype Geek, the show where we celebrate hype and me just geeking the heck out of things. My name is Colin and happy, happy new year to everybody. Now the new year has just started and we are starting fresh. And what better way to actually start fresh than to smell fresh as well. And that is what we have here today. I am going to be giving you a couple of recommendations on scents that you might actually want to get for the new year, particularly these ones that you see here. Now before I actually go on and do that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so because we're making more and more videos for you guys, particularly for this 2021. I can't believe it, it's 2021 already. Guys, we survived 2020. So congratulations, give yourselves a round of applause everyone. And thank you so much for being here with us at Ungeek and uh, checking out Hype Geek as well, this small pocket of corner where I can share a lot of my passions outside of the usual gaming and technology technology stuff that we talk about regularly at ungeek.ph. So aside from this, I only have actually one other blog talking about perfumes last year. It was just a trial, something to see if people responded positively to it. And we did get quite a number of positive feedbacks as well. So we're trying to do something like that here. I mean, fine, these are actually outside of the typical gaming or geekery that we talk about here in this channel. But come on, geeks need to look good and smell good sometimes, right? And if you do not want to break the bank as well, this is a pretty solid recommendation right here. So I have here key fragrances from the house of Ferrari. Now sure, Ferrari isn't really known for their fashion. They're really known for cars and racing. So that's another type of geekery as well. But they're actually also a luxury house. You will need to spend a heck of a lot of money just to get any Ferrari car. And the Italians pride themselves of having a luxury brand that is renowned worldwide. Now, interestingly enough, fragrances from Ferrari aren't necessarily expensive. They actually are quite cheaper than your other designer fragrances. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're subpar. Sometime in the mid 2000s, Ferrari launched their more premium line called the Essences line. And we have four from that category. So these are your Eau de Parfum, which means it has a higher concentration of oil, hence they can actually command a higher price point than their regular lines. Now while the SRPs for these Essence line might be a little bit more expensive, somewhere around the 4,000 to 5,000 peso range, you can actually get them really, really cheap at Lazada. And majority of these I actually got at under 2,000 pesos a piece. So I have here with me the Ferrari Amber Essence, the Ferrari Essence Musk, the Ferrari Vetiver Essence, and the Ferrari Silver Essence. And I'm going to be giving my insights on all of these and if you're interested in getting some of them, I'm going to be putting the links to where you can actually purchase those down below. Now first off, even before trying the scents, what I like about the Essence line is it's pretty impeccable packaging. So aside from the shiny logo from the box and the product name, the fragrance actually comes in this really nice, really heavy angular fragrance bottle. It also has this pretty heavy and premium looking cap with leather trimmings on the side. On top of it is an embossed icon of the iconic Ferrari Stallion logo. So I'm going to start with the Ferrari Amber Essence first. This actually currently retails for 1,799 pesos at Lazada at your fave box. Again, I'm putting all of the links down below for these. Now, to be honest, out of the four variants, this is my least favorite of them all. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad fragrance. Now, as you may have figured out by now, each essence actually highlights a particular note. Uh, this one is vetiver, this one's supposed to be amber, and then you have musk here. However, not all of them actually achieve the idea or the main idea that is uh, set by the name or I guess by the brief. One of them is Amber Essence. Now for something called Amber Essence, you do get a little bit of amber but not a lot. Now Amber is a very powdery sort of resinous scent. Now while I do get a little bit of powder here, this actually dries down into a more woody sort of slight spicy sort of scent. Now as far as projection is concerned, it actually doesn't project as much. So this one actually sort of sits closer to the skin and sadly doesn't last as long as well. And to be honest, out of the four that I have here, this one sort of falls under a very generic scent. It's something that I've smelled before in other fragrances. So for me, there's really nothing that special with the Ferrari 
amber essence. However, if you like the scent of dry woods, if your personality is very business-like, this is something you might want to check out. It's very office appropriate. However, I feel that this might actually suit someone a little bit more mature. You know, if you are a senior executive having a lot of board meetings, this is an okay everyday scent. It's not a powerhouse scent. It's not something that you want to wear if you want to impress, but it won't actually turn people off either. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more fresh, in fact, if you're looking for something that's super duper fresh, Essence Musk is actually a pretty good surprise. It has a really nice clean all white bottle as well. So again, looks very fresh very nice summery sort of scent that you have here now this one actually gives you a nice after shower sort of scent feel so it's really good if you want to have that vibe I also feel that the essence musk is a nice summer scent so it's something that if you're going out on the beach going out on you know swimming pool or, or a resort this is something you might want to carry as well. This one I feel is a daytime scent. It has a lot of marine notes, has a lot of sea notes, so it's a little bit salty, but it's balanced by a lot of fruit and some slight wood and a little bit of greenery in there as well. So one of the top two notes that I'm getting here are sea notes or marine notes and watermelon. What this actually reminds me of is Millisimi Imperial of Creed, a bottle that would cost you around 14 to 15,000 pesos. And this one retails for 1,799. Pretty good steal as well. This is actually one of the few gems that the line has. Now, how's the projection and longevity of this? For me, projection is pretty moderate. It's not super out there, but it will get you noticed a little bit when you pass by. Scent trail is pretty decent. Longevity is quite surprising. I do get around six hours on this and up to the eight hour mark, it becomes a little bit of skin scent. I can still smell a whiff of the sea or the marine notes here and there. And then it just falls into like very woody sort of marine note after a while. So if you miss going out or you miss the beach, this is actually a pretty good scent to wear. Now next is Vetiver Essence and Vetiver is one of those notes that I am superbly addicted to. It is my one signature note. So I'm pretty much known for having a lot of Vetiver centric fragrances. If you don't know what Vetiver is, Vetiver is a really big leaf. So it's very leafy. Uh, but the scent of this is earthy because basically they get the roots of vetiver. The scent is just so, so addicting. Uh. Now, Ferrari vetiver essence is actually quite unique in a sense that a lot of vetiver scents have a formula to it already. It's, uh, it has a structure, you know. It starts off with nice citrus and it ends up with earthy vetiver. That's how a lot of vetiver fragrances are patterned after. This one, while it actually does that, it has like Italian bergamot, which is a very citrus plant uh, when you first burst it and when you first spray it, it has nuances of coffee. This actually gives it that weird sort of dull or dark and dusty sort of scent. I don't know, that's how best I can actually describe this. Now, while this is actually just a vetiver fragrance at its heart, there's a lot of complexities running around this. There's a little bit of spiciness happening, a little bit of gourmand, but not too gourmand. And I don't know, it's just extremely interesting. Now, for me, this is a little bit complex. Um, it's hard for me to recommend this, actually. Um, I'm recommending this if you are a fan of Vetiver. Now, unfortunately, I cannot find Vetiver Essence in your fave boxes Lazada shop. I actually got this years back. I think I bought it from Fragrance X, if I'm not mistaken. Which actually brings me to one of the best purchases I had last year. This is a gem in the Ferrari line or the Ferrari Essences line that I actually procured. This is the Silver Essence and it is pure love. I spent countless money on perfumes throughout the years and I can honestly say that the Ferrari Silver Essence can go toe to toe with some of the niche perfumes or niche fragrances that would cost around 10,000 pesos up. This is how good this is. And you know how much this costs? This costs 1299 at your fave box. It's actually the cheapest among the line. And this one, oh, I'm gonna spray it on myself as well. Oh, it's just oh, it's so good. Oh, it's crazy good. It's 
creamy, it's gourmand, it's woody, and it dries down on a nice spicy bed. It has notes of coconut, but not in that banana boat coconut sunscreen sort of scent. It's actually a little bit more refined or a little bit more subdued, which actually blends well with a lot of the other notes from the Silver Essence. You know, you have cinnamon, you have nutmeg, so there is a little bit more gourmand there. And then there's a couple of woods there as well. I think it has birch, so it has a little bit smokiness. It's not listed on the website. However, I do get some sort of leather scent on it as well, which sort of gives you an image of the interior of a Ferrari car. You know, the really plush leather upholstery on the seat covers. And then it drives down a superbly good, very naturalistic black pepper scent. Now, I have been obsessed with spicy notes or spicy fragrances from the start of 2019. And it's hard for me to actually find a really good spicy scent at this point. And this one is just pure joy because of that. If you want something unique and complex and something that is truly out of the ordinary, I encourage you to try Ferrari Silver Essence. In fact, if you have like 2,000 pesos and you're thinking, should I get the usual designer fragrances of say Cool Water or Easy Miyaki or a lot of the classics, you know, Calvin Klein Eternity and all of the rest, I urge you to look into this. Why? Because one, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people would get this. Majority of people would go for the known designer brands. You have Cool Water that has been done ad nauseum. You have Easy Miyaki, but it's good. It's just everyone has it at this point. However, Ferrari Essence, not as much. Plus, there are so many other variants of the fragrance and of the product. There's Essence Oud, there is Leather Essence, there's also Cedar Essence if I'm not mistaken. And that's just like the main line. There are Freshies as well. They have Neroli, they have Bergamot. It's something that you may want to try out because the juice itself is pretty quality and you don't really need to spend a lot of money. So if I'm going to rank this between least favorite to most favorite, it's going to be this is the least, then it would be um, Essence Musk, it would be Vetiver Essence, and then Silver Essence as my favorite and most recommended one among the bunch. And with that, this is our first episode of Hike Geek this 2021. Let me know your thoughts down below on the Ferrari Essences line. Which among the four picked your interest or which among the four you feel best suits your personality? Let me know down below and stay tuned to more hype geek on the next episode i will be starting a raffle for a footwear yeah sapatos po ang ira raffle natin sa next episode ng hype geek so stay tuned to that and with that my name is colin and i am wishing you all a very happy new year guys hindi pa tapos ang pandemia so please 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 keep safe keep healthy and i will see you on the next one bye bye hype peeps peace out